a crazy Monday here in New Orleans. Just got through with the All-State Sugar Bowl pep rally. Razorback fans turned out in mass. Over 10,000, we think, probably even more than that. I don't know if anybody's left in the state of Arkansas. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Earlier this morning, they had the annual Sugar Bowl parade through the French Quarter. And the First Lady of Arkansas football, Becky Petrino, taking part in the parade as well. Meanwhile, at the Media Hotel, both head coaches were there to talk about the upcoming game. And as you might expect, head coach Bobby Petrino says his team is ready. When we started this thing off 38 days ago since our last game, you know, we knew we had a long uh, preparation in front of us. And our players have done a nice job of, of handling it. We, I think our assistant coaches have not done a nice job of handling it. Obviously, we're all ready to, to get to the game and, and uh, play the football game. Our fans are exciting. It was, it was fun last night. We had a radio show downtown, and there's a lot of Razorback fans in town. I think we'll come out and put on a, a great show with our crowd, give our players a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, and have a great football game. Tusk Four on hand here in New Orleans, part of the pep rally crowd that turned out over 10,000. Largest crowd, they say, ever attending an All-State Sugar Bowl pep rally. And as you might expect, Razorback fans are very excited to be here. We're going to bring a lot of down face back to Arkansas. We're bringing the sugar, y'all. Let's go home! A lot of fun. What's been the best experience so far? Bourbon Street, right here at the uh, uh, fanfare. <laughs> a whole lot of fun. Happy hog days What's been the best part? That the Hogs made their first BCS bowl game. I'm so proud for the team. Uh, I noticed a big difference. I went to the 1995 CarQuest Bowl, and I can talk about differences there. Uh, it's been great. I said never seen more fans at a football game uh, or for a football game for Arkansas in my entire life. You think, you think you've ever seen the fan base this energized? No, I really hadn't. Um, I think that, that they really uh, are behind this team, uh, especially I think they're really behind this coach. I think after what we, you know, the regime we had before not ever getting us to this point, I think now that we're really behind this coach and what athletic director Jeff Long has been able to accomplish with that new contract, I think that really put the fire in the fan base. Has the BCS experience been everything you thought it would be? Yes and more. What's been the best part? That we finally made it to a BCS Bowl, which is where we deserve to be. You know, the experience has been phenomenal. It's a great city to host the Sugar Bowl. Um, we've had a wonderful time. We've been here since Friday. Could it be a better experience as a Razorback fan than right now? You know, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Our, our son plays for the Razorbacks. Uh, we're happy to be here. And what do you guys think? Um, we're, we're having a great time. I love New Orleans, so it was a great trip. I mean, I've never been here before. So. And we've heard a lot about the city, yeah. <laughs> but to actually come to the city yeah. and see it, oh, man, it's phenomenal. And they rebounded so well from Katrina. It, it's great. It's great. Well, let's give a shout-out to your son. Hey, one head shout-out. Say hi, Dante. Hey. Hi, Dante. All right, one, two, three. Dante, we love you! Number 25, Dante Carr. Could this experience be any better for a Razorback fan? No, sir. It's the best experience I've ever had. I've gotten to several bowls. It's, it's been really a lot of fun. What makes this one so special? Uh, representing the SEC in the Sugar Bowl and uh, having a great year like we did. The Sugar Bowl is huge for New Orleans. We love having all the fans here. Um, we have, we know the game is sold out with at least 72,000 seats that are full for the game. Most of our hotel rooms are sold out and have been sold out the last couple of nights. A lot of people chose to come in to celebrate New Year's and stay through the game, which has been a huge economic boost for our city. Um, we love that so many fans, even if they don't have tickets to the game, have come to enjoy New Orleans and tailgate and to enjoy the city. So tourism is our most important business and we love having everyone here. Activities continue tonight. Darius Rucker will be performing a concert here later. And of course, don't forget tomorrow, the big game. Pep Rally at the Superdome starts at five o'clock. The game will kick off about 7.35. And don't forget, of course, we'll have highlights and post game reaction for you here on Razor Vision. In New Orleans at the Allstate Sugar Bowl, I'm Blair Cartwright for ArkansasRazorbacks.com.